I wanted to talk first out of the gate today about the local real estate statistics, but also wanted to give you our call-in numbers. Uh, we have uh, Chris Boss from the law firm Yesner & Boss with us today to answer your real estate legal questions, uh, whether it's short sales, foreclosure, defense, anything related to uh, real estate legalities. Uh, Chris is an expert on the subject matter and certainly here to answer your questions and have Robert Johnson, uh, listing partner on my real estate team with us as well today. You can call us live to answer your questions at 990-9352 in Hillsboro. 461-9352 in Pinellas or toll free 1-800-969-9352. Again, it's at 990-9352 in Hillsboro. 461-9352 in Pinellas. All of our phone numbers end in 9352 or WFLA. So the, uh, the real estate statistics out um, that came out for the month of May, um, a, about a week or so ago, show some pretty telling signs that our market is, is continuing its shift towards a seller's market. And, you know, for, for people that haven't been paying attention to what's going on in real estate the last few months, um, you know, a lot of folks still continue to think that we're in a buyer's market and it's terrible and homes aren't selling. And, and it's actually really been flipped, you know, completely on its side. Um, our average sale price in Tampa Bay for the month of May was 170000 uh, 698, which is the highest the average sale price has been uh, in over three years. Um, then um, 3.7 months of inventory, which is the lowest uh, amount of inventory we've seen since uh, the Greater Tampa Association of Realtors has been tracking it, uh, which is pretty remarkable. Um, so it's it's gone from a drastic buyer's market to having a, a complete shortage of inventory. So the List price, sale price, averages are up. Homes are selling in 90 days, which is the fastest we've seen them selling uh, on a monthly basis again in several years. There's not a lot to pick from. And we had 2,127 sales, which the uh, there's only a couple of months in the last several years that had more sales than that, and those months were tax credit months. So again, it, the market still varies from neighborhood to neighborhood. And if you want to call and ask us about your neighborhood or ask us about short sales, foreclosures, um, whatever it is your real estate question is, you can call us to talk about it, 990-9352 in Hillsboro and 461-9352 in Pinellas. Um, I think that uh, you, know, you continue to see in the press home sales and prices rise in Florida and the Tampa Bay area. And as I talk to other real estate brokers and radio show hosts uh, you know, of real estate programs around the country, continue to see the same thing from them. So while we're seeing the surge in Tampa, um, we're, we're certainly seeing it uh, across the country as well. And, and it's, it's a pretty telling tale to a shift in our market. Certainly a lot out there that could, you know, shift it back the other direction. But right now it's, it's a seller's market and we're seeing, again, I said this last month, but we're seeing appreciation. I don't say it very loud. <laughs> I don't say it very loud. I don't want to scare anyone, but we're seeing a little bit of appreciation right now. So uh, the market continuing to improve. And, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, Chris, I wanted to talk to you uh, kind of in reference to the market improving, you know, what your thoughts were um, about the impact of short sales on that. You know, with homes selling quicker and for better prices, do you think the bank's, um, you know, improvement on how they handle short sales has, has had an impact on it? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. I think that that the banks have realized that the the, the foreclosure uh, system in Florida is is really detrimental to them, and so it's it's lengthy. And so the banks, in conjunction with the homeowners, the short sales are good for them as well. I think, um, I, I and I think that a lot of folks are conscious of the Mortgage Relief Act expiring as well. I mean, that's a that, that's a tremendous piece of law that's potentially going away. And I think a lot of people right now that are thinking about selling their home, when you've got a lack of inventory, that's an opportunity to get a great price because you've got more people competing for the home. I mean, Robert, you, you can speak to this. You know, how often are we seeing <coughs> scenarios where we're getting multiple offers, bidding wars on, on listing properties? It, it's very regular. Yeah, I believe you and I were talking the other day, and it's probably one out of four properties um, it's, it's a really remarkable thing, you know, you, you meet with sellers and you tell them that and they don't necessarily believe you, but it is happening one out of four times, it's, it's pretty great. 